And we're in. Oh wait. Who who on that team was ESTB? How did they how did they get the ESTB? Changeling army. Oh, he's free agent now? Radiant team back. Looks like it we're having a whole lot of mix uh you know, mix and matches. Everybody is just changing around. Maybe he was one of the uh Oh, the stand-ins that started playing for them a lot. That's probably what happened. Either way, uh, we're going to have a, B a Batrider and a Phantom Lancer banned out right away. Uh, let's see, Brewman... Uh, no, he. I think he was the one that actually had the Phantom Lancer earlier that just absolutely destroyed the other team. So he says, no, no, I don't want to play against that. <laughs> let's get rid of that right now. I, I want to I want to keep watching Batrider because even in the pro league I felt he was a little like overvalued just a little bit and now that he's been and and, and was definitely overvalued in lower level leagues like the Reddit Dota 2 league so now that he's nerfed I'm wondering how long he's gonna stay in this top four ban stage every every single game. I'm still amazed that Magnus is getting banned out. Yeah, 50 I damage guess... at level 1. Oh yeah, it's it's a huge nerf to him. Uh, but even then, I guess you can see him being nerfed out at this level of play just because it's it's much easier to catch more than one person in your RP uh, when people don't spread out. But we're going to have the Keeper of the Light as the first pick. You let Keeper of the Light or you let Wisp through and whoever gets the first pick is going to take one of them. Yeah, Keeper of the Light, like... Took a dip down recently, like, you know, a few weeks back, and now he's just sort of surging back up again as one of these supports that's getting picked all the time. And I'm not Let's sure what, the... why, but it's he's still good. Uh, it's just the kind of a weird... of Jakiro, man. The Jakiro is what amazes me. He's back now. There was like three it... months where no one, yeah. no one no, touched it, Jakiro. It's purely because the, someone just decided, holy crap, he's you can vacuum him. into Ice Wall. <laughs> and now you pick... Jakiro all the time. So, uh, if this isn't a Dark Seer pick, well, then I guess somebody on this on the Radiant side just happens to like Jakiro, which is fair enough. But uh, the big thing resurging him in the pro scene is that combining with Dark Seer kind of has this mini RP, especially considering that RP does no damage now. So, the Ice Path actually does more damage at level three than the level one RP does. Yeah. So hey. <laughs> It's still How not quite the same, done? but it's still pretty good. Um, I think... Let, well, let's look. You have it right here. No, it goes on, up on to 2.2. Oh, the, on RP? Dire team pick. I'm not sure on level 1 stun. I think it's 2 seconds, but I'll have to check. Why not? I, I, can, almost I, can go ahead and, I can go ahead and check. Yeah, so we got the Rubik pickup. So they have their two supports on the Radiant side already. Well, actually, I can't check. It's, like, bugged. It's not letting me click on Magnus. I'd have to tab out. Well, I can tab out, but, yeah. Yeah. We're in that pick phase. You gotta wait for them to take their sweet time to decide who they're playing anyway. Absolutely. Really not much to I'm glad to talk see... about here. We don't see Darkseer pick. We see Rubik. Uh, I'd like to see Rubik. Shadow Demon has been hugely popular recently. But uh, Rubik, he deserves more love. He kind of just, he's, kind of, he's kind of gone out of favor a little bit. Probably because we haven't seen as much big team fight ultimate combinations. Like you aren't seeing Magnus as much. Enigma's starting to show up since 6.78, but we weren't seeing him as much. And Tidehunter and Warlock and all these big team fight hitters we weren't seeing as much. I really miss seeing Rubik go mid, but after that nerf to Fade Bolt damage, he just you can't really run him mid as well as you could before. Uh, I think at the same time Fade Bolt was nerfed, I think his uh, base damage was lowered a little bit too. Uh, I miss Ma I miss him mid, man. He was he's such a good mid hero then. I checked the Dark Seer, of course, banned out. Look at that. No, no Jakiro Dark Seer. They should have went ahead and picked that up if they wanted it. I think they could have let the Rubik get through, and it wouldn't have been banned. Yeah, normally if you're going to pick Darkseer, it's in that first, you know, couple picks. Because it, if it makes it through the first couple bands, it's normally going to get banned out next round. I checked in on the Magnus. It's 2.25 seconds on level 1 RP. Uh, Ice Path is almost there then. Yeah, 1.8 at level 3. 2.2 <laughs> .2 at level 4. Almost there. So a level 7 Jakiro can do your job better, Magnus. <laughs> Admiral 
Oh yes, a Kunkka! I love Kunkka. So this is almost guaranteed to be a Kunkka mid. Uh, you just don't see him ran anywhere else. He works in other lanes, but Kunkka mid is so good. It, it really depends on what hero they pick up. But, so because they already picked the Kunkka, they can pick up Dragon Knight. And I, I really love this. Dragon Knight is like a hard counter to Kunkka mid. You just can't harass him out of the lane. There's no way. He's, he's gonna sit there, he's gonna farm. <laughs> now, uh, oh. so, now Rubik with Kunkka does actually work very well. Uh, I know from it's fun when you're playing Rubik and you can steal Torrent because you can lift and follow up with your own Torrent. But in this oh, case, yeah. they have both. So often we see Shadow Demon set up with Kunkka, but Rubik works just as well. Oh no, so this is how this is gonna work. He's gonna steal Disruption from the Shadow Demon. And then set up the torrent <laughs> that way. And then while they're in the air, let's go ahead and pick them up again. Just throw them to the moon. And then hit them with the boat. And then... <laughs> and then follow up with an ice path. Puck. Yeah! Oh, and there's our mid-hero, Puck. Uh, it really I... depends on Puck's reaction time on how that matchup mid works. If he can dodge the Tidebringers, then he's going to do great. If he doesn't dodge the Tidebringers, then not so great. Yeah, pretty much the twitch finger on the E. So it also be interesting if um, Kunkka tries to play on that, fake him out with you know, attack canceling. Yeah, that'll also work. And when he face shifts, you can actually just drop a torrent right there. And <laughs> as soon as he comes out of that phase shift... What are you doing up there in the sky, Puck? <laughs> time. Uh, though it'll only it it'll only really work on like level two and three, depending on the time. Oh yeah. It, level one to... is too short. Level four, he'll be in there too long. Hey, he just waited out a little bit. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> How do you feel about this? The I haven't talked to anybody about it. Like the new uh, pick and ban phase, I am I'm, I'm still uh, confused by it. I don't really know how drafting works now. I, I really uh, like it. I, I think because before you get three heroes before the next ban phase, so pretty much you knew you just had a position that you would just ban remaining. out. It's like okay, well we got our two supports, or we've got our carry in our mid. We can ban Five out core remaining. heroes. But now, yeah, when you only how, get oh, two, it. it makes it tricky because you don't necessarily get both supports. And if you get like a carry, let's say you get like Juggernaut Rubik, well, then what do you ban? You do ban carries. Well, you still want another carry. You can't ban supports. You still need a mid. You still need an off laner. It it, it, it becomes more of a banning against what you don't want to play against, as opposed to banning just carte blanche remaining. one position more often. So I think that's more interesting. That is definitely more interesting. There's more mind games to it, and more more respect bans. Like, I don't want to play against that. So we already yeah, got the yeah. Lone Druid and the Sven pickup. The Sven's going to be ESTBs. Well, there's not ESTB. They're Dire Side. Ah, yeah. Um, now, now, you like you, you like Kunkka. I, I'm a fan of Sven. I want to see more Sven. I mean, he fell out of favor a good long while ago, like, right as the Sur... You know, right is life stealer surge because you know life stealer is really really good against Sven and most uh, strength heroes and strength carries. But life stealer not in the pool and you know dire side or the radiant side has picked up two strength heroes. I think Sven can do pretty well here. Two strength heroes. Or er, sorry. One strength hero, and then Lone Druid, who's Lone like Druid a strength hero. Lone Druid might as well be a strength hero. He's just yeah. as tanky innately, if not more than most strength heroes. Uh, he's got all that armor from the agility, and then the health. It's just great for him. Pick. See what the, these guys are going to pick up here last. The Chaos Knight ban out, I'm not sure why that was banned. Oh, There's wow. not really room. Phantom Assassin on top of Kunkka and Lone Druid. This is a farm-heavy lineup. That's putting it lightly, but that's definitely going to be an off lane lone druid with the safe lane Phantom Assassin, uh, Rubik, and Jakiro. Wait a second now, is that going to be Brewmaster or Puck off lane? I'm going to say it's going to be Puck in the off lane, without a doubt. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and introduce the Radiant side here. On our Radiant side, the captain is Brewman playing Phantom Assassin. We're going to have Oh, man, Wabo, that's going to be confusing. Wabo <laughs> Wubu playing Rubik. Uh, Farah playing Lone Druid. Superfluous playing Jakiro. I like his name. And then we're going to have Dracula on Punka. All right, go ahead and introduce so, the dire side. Yeah, over on the dire side, we have our much lauded in the draft phase changeling army headed out towards mid on the brewmaster. We mentioned Puck headed to off lane. He is, and it's have no clue playing the Puck. In the tri lane, Sven controlled by the captain Bearju. I, I didn't know bears had religions. Uh... Keeper of the Light is played by Alucard and joined with his support buddy Abdiris on the Shadow Demon. Abdiris. A couple of pings going out. Nothing really exciting going on. He's going to go ahead and send his uh, spirit bear over here. He's going to pull the lane. Be really annoying. But if they catch that bear out, that's 300 gold. He's going to have to be careful. It's level yeah. one, so he can't pull it back to him. Yeah, as, as someone who's Time like was learning Lone Druid and playing it more, uh, I don't care about the armlet loss. It's like, okay, well, we didn't build that much before. They stun out the bear, so I'm keeping an eye on that, but they're not going to kill it. But the oh, 300 gold bounty, the 300 gold bounty makes me feel so uncomfortable about the idea of playing Lone Druid. It's like I lose the bear and it's like giving away first blood. Oh yeah, it's it's horrible. It's really, really terrible. Because then you have to sit there without the bear, and Lone Druid might as well not exist without his bear. I mean, you just have to sit back. But he did manage to pull this creep wave down, so he, he gets this first wave of experience. He's going to get level 2 from it for free, pretty much. Dyer's top tower is under We're down here in bottom lane. Let's take a look here. Well, <laughs> Puck, Puck deep. have no clue. He's just taking the auto attacks. He's just taking them. <laughs> He dodges that last one from Rubik, but he just he just took a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, that's all his tangos right there. That was a little bit uh, questionable. Questionable judgment, to say the least. Oh, some pings that pop. They're going on the bear again. Oh, this poor spirit bear. Oh, yep, here comes he, the Illuminate. Catches for Rob, but not the he, bear. He at least does have a stout shield, so he has something there for survivability. Oh, man, I missed oh, what? first blood. <laughs> first victim. Oh, it, what is Puck? How did Puck die there? It was just Rubik uh, playing a little bit too okay. strong there. Well, Rubik got the lift. Uh, Fam Assassin at level two with the dagger and blink strike, and Puck was low. Was already was trying to tango up. Did not use the salve initially, so wasn't full health. Puck very squishy at level one, only four hundred seventy some health before leveling up. Was down at around three hundred. So between those, enough damage. Oh yeah. Well, here in the mid, like, they're just sort of, uh, bumping chests here every now and then. There's a Thunderclap, a Tidebringer, some, some harass back and forth. No. Kind of a, a wash there. Of course, Kunk has got the seven last hits up against one on the Brewmaster. He's gonna be happy about that. The faster he gets his Shadow Blade, if that's what he rushes, the happier he's gonna be. Yeah, and six denies, which is also very nice on Brew, who's just sort of like, I'm level six, I don't care about anything else anymore. <laughs> like, you try and gank me, split. And then I kill one oh, of you. Oh, we got us a pause. Oh, it definitely looks like, uh, PA, I've seen a lot of people not going for the Battle Fury rush anymore. They like to get like phase boots, followed by drums, and then maybe a basher, uh, maybe your BKB yeah. then, or Helmet Dominator. But this guy says, screw it, he got his Ring of Health, and he's going for that Battle Fury. Hey, I'm a fan of Battle Fury PA. You can farm really fast, and all you need is just one good blink strike, and the entire other team yeah. dies. I still, yeah, I, I'm, I definitely still really like Battle Fury on Phantom Assassin, but compared to Anti Mage, Anti Mage, sometimes I'll want to just like, Build ba Battle Fury, no boots. Like, just go straight for it. It can blink away. Phantom Assassin, kind of need to finish the phase boots before you finish the Battle Fury. Otherwise, you're just playing it way too risky. She does not have a good escape mechanism. 
No, your your escape with PA definitely relies on having like another person near you to be able to blink like over some trees or something. You can't always rely on blinking back to some creeps. They're not always going to be there. Um, so she definitely does need something, some kind of mobility to get away from people. It looks like Kunko, once we get going again, is going to be all over that invis rune. Uh, no he bottle. He doesn't have his bottle yet, though. So. Yeah. At least he'll be invisible. Yeah, you perhaps set up a Tidebringer if Brewmaster decides to stand in one spot for a while. Ah, he's moving around. He's he's dancing. Oh, 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 hit that range creep. Not really a lot of damage on him, though. But, I mean, even without the bottle, he denies the rune for Brewmaster, who does have his bottle. Up I'm not top sure of if this disruption. guy's actually gonna... Ooh. Got a disruption, but Farah just walks away. Casually walks away. <laughs> Yeah, no no follow-up. Follow yeah, the only follow-up they could even hope to have was the uh, the storm hammer from Sven, but Sven wasn't close enough yet. I'm a little interested. Sven has a mantle of intelligence on him. Uh, uh he. I don't even know. No, sometimes decisions are made. I, I'm excited for Dagon Sven. <laughs> That's what it is, man. You throw the storm bolt, you dagging him. <laughs> What else do you need? Oh man, I never thought of this. Look at Puck. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I, can, I, uh... <laughs> yeah, I've seen this from you... Batrider. Uh huh. You can actually do this on a few different offlane heroes. Like Queen of Pain can also just jump over in the trees, but he's not inside of experience range there unless the creeps are no. like right next to the trees. No, that's yeah, that's well out of experience range. I I, I'm, I, I, I was under the impression he ended up doing that to get away. Oh, now dagger and blink strike on to her. Did he actually? Onto he it. actually just. Illusory orb out there, so there's no escape for him here. He's gonna take the death. He should have. Um, I'm gonna guess he illusory orb out this way to get out of the trees. He was just stuck uh, in there. He needed to go more that way. Yeah, well, probably like in through the shop, even. Yeah, definitely didn't need to jump out right in front of them there. Yeah, the big problem is over uh, here. Like, there's no vision, so you really can't be past the river. If you're if you have no vision out here, unless you can account for other heroes, even with Puck with some escape capability, in, in the off in, in, uh, there are off laners who do the job better who can't really safely go up that far. Oh yeah, I mean Puck can be an off lane, but he's not exactly a strong off laner. He his position should be more in the mid role. But Jakiro taking a lot of shots from the power. There. Hey, you know, um, he's a he's a dragon. He doesn't care about towers. Dyer's bottom tower. Here, yeah, he's so... actually got that point in liquid fire. He just wants to burn that tower down. I mean, it may be it's a pretty well known tip, but again, if you attack move, not right click, but attack move onto a creep, attack target a creep, your own on your own side or hero, that will change the tower aggression away from you. Though it is a little wonky, if you just do it and then immediately go back, you will ignore your command and not do it, and then hit you some more, and then you feel oh, sad. Oh yeah, you have to be, you have to be a little bit uh, deliberate about it. You can't just uh, click it and then immediately click the tower again. You've, you've stopped your tower. Oh, hello, Kunkka. How do you get a? Okay. That was a, that was actually no boat. He actually just walked up and um, he he hit him with the sword. As a tide bringer weren't together. That's enough to bring down the Brewmaster. I wish we could do a 10 second replay as casters, but we can't. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Well, I, I could jump to I could jump to my stream if I actually saw, but no. No, I missed that oh. one. They're applying a little bit of pressure this top T1. But Farah is actually happy to just be behind his tower taking creeps. He got almost every one of them from that wave, and any bit of farm that he can get, he's going to be happy to take as an offlane druid. Yeah, right now he's fourth on the board. It's a, That's oh. a really aggressive disruption. The Illuminate coming Follow through, there's a Stormboat. The Illuminate catches him. Soulcatcher was there to do the extra damage, and the lone druid dies. Yeah, it was not in bear form. He's only level 5. He's very close to level 6, so he doesn't have that additional health. And between... You know, disruption, soul caster, bonus damage, 
Stormhammer, a fully charged level 2 Illuminate. It's way too much for a small health pool at level 5. Oh, Brewmaster has actually picked up middle, but he pops his ulti to get away. Oh, he's actually going to turn this around and try to kill Rubik. Rubik's down to about 100 health, but he actually just walks away. He instead decides to surround Kunkka with all three bears. However, the ulti's coming to an end, and he's stuck in an ice path already. He's actually picked up. The boat runs through him. Had he not been picked up, the boat would have probably caught him if he ran that way. He's a little bit low. He's actually getting away. The torrent misses the ice path at the wrong angle. And Changeling Army gets away with his life. He spent the ulti to do it. Didn't get any kills. So his ulti's down. Biggest part of Brewmaster in this early game, his effectiveness depends on that ulti usage. He used it to live. He might have been better off dying and coming back somewhere else. Yeah, through all of that, he... We didn't see any, uh... Any of the Storm Panda usage uh so we didn't see we didn't see the uh actual tornado to he could have held back rubik decided to go on the conca couldn't fit, burst him down and he ran out of time it's only level one so it actually is kind of short compared to later levels and just oh, not yeah. enough damage the better choice there if he still popped that ulti was to definitely kill the rubik the rubik was very low there's a dream coil used on pa bottom pa is already very low 160 health right on the edge of the uh Ooh, getting yeah, she, away. She didn't finish phase boost, just got the early ring of health for regen. Uh, she actually gets away just fine there. Um, a bit confusing, I guess Puck was a little bit low on mana, have no clue, had no clue about his mana pool. Ross level 6 up here now, he's doing really well for being in the off lane. Uh, you take a look at last hits. He's 21, and the Sven that's got the farm up here is only at 29. He's joined up by the Kunkka up top. Actually, oh, here comes a boat. It might land right on top of a Beavis. No, it misses. The Ice Path comes through, catches Berju for just a moment there, but he's going to walk away. The Liquid Fire ticking away. The Torrent's going to finish him off. <laughs> Beavis. Abdiris? Abdiris? Shadow, Shadow guy. Walks away. Yeah. Ultimately, what ended up happening there, well-intentioned, but the defensive disruption ended up costing them his life. There's another torrent. It caught Abdiris. That's enough to finish him off. That's a double kill for Dracula. No points in X marks the spot yet, though. So, Alucard, Alucard and Dracula. Come on now, guys. Uh, Alucard gets away just fine there. He's going to channel Illuminate down through here. Alucard and Dracula. Why, that's just superfluous. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, that's it for me today. <laughs> under attack. Uh, today, that's that's it. Game's over. <laughs> well, there's a tower for Kunkka. Uh, he's got 1,800 gold sitting on him. He's doing really well for 10 minutes in. He's got 43 last hits. He's actually got the highest in the game as the mid lane there. Uh, he's bought the Shadow Amulet first. That's a little bit questionable. Uh, doesn't really do all that much for you, attack speed-wise. There's a double damage ring bottom. Uh, Someone go get it. Kunkka's gonna yeah. want that. Oh, oh disruption. there's a disruption on PA. The torrent there didn't catch anybody. Illuminate's gonna come through. Dracula very low. Stormbolt. Oh, that's the end of Kunkka's life. Brewmaster also cleans up the PA. Jakiro's drunk. He's running around in circles. He dies. Poor Jakiro. Two heads, I guess the alcohol affects him twice as much or something. Yeah, able to end up turning that around defensive hey. disruption. What just happened? Rubik killed he solo killed Puck. What? Uh. He picked up the double damage. Uh -huh. Wabu! I'm gonna have to pay attention to you. <laughs> what a monster. To follow up on what you were saying before all that was happening, uh, Kunkka picked up the Shadow Amulet. Depending on the hero, that can be the better choice. The Shadow Amulet gives you the plus 30 attack speed, whereas the Claymore uh, gives you additional damage. I think it was plus 24 on the Claymore. Uh, it, that's close to it. But either uh, way, it's definitely yeah. better on Kunkka to get the damage, guys. I mean, don't get the Shadow Amulet first. Uh, attack speed isn't a huge deal on Kunkka. He's he's more of like a one-hit wonder. You kind of want to walk up to a team fight or walk up to someone, smack them, splash water on everybody off of your sword, and it just obliterates them. 
not really an attack speed kind of guy. Yeah, it's all about the uh, Tidebringer Splash show. You only really need to attack once every four seconds, and that's not a whole lot of attack speed right there. Uh, the reason the Shadow Blade ends up being good on Konka, though, is not only does he can he use the mobility, the, bur the extra bonus damage on that single shot uh, is what he wants. Again, it's just powering up one big hit. Yeah, Kunkka, it just feeds more into his one-hit wonder type deal. But I can see the point of getting the Shadow Amulet first. Oh, there's a disruption over here on Dracula. He's He actually just started using his <laughs> well, Shadow Amulet. He loves that Shadow Amulet. He's already used it twice since he picked it up. Oh, <laughs> a little bit too late. Dream Coiled there. The Illusion Orb <laughs> comes through the Shadow Third Amulet. Third time! Oh. And he does uh, not get away. Hmm. There's the Brewmaster ult to use. He's kind of looking around here. He throws the rock at Rubik. There's the storm hammer. Uh, and this bear might be in trouble. Huh? Gonna go burn the bear? No, no. Brewmaster decides against it. Since he is gonna come out of here with low, low health. 160 health would have been a bad idea to chase anyone else. I, this is, that is the first time it's ever brought up the question to me what the cooldown is on Shadow Amulet. Uh, it doesn't have one, does it? I, no. I, you can actually just move and immediately use it again. Okay, then. That has never come up with me before, but now I know. Shadow Amulet OP. Imagine if all items had no cooldown. BKB would be fair and balanced. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dagon? Dagon, anyone? Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. You know, let's just play WTF mode. That's the new... New Reddit Dota 2 League mode. WTF mode. There's a torrent on Brewmaster. What did Rubik steal? He stole the primal split. Here we go. Wow. Hadn't used the spell since then, so that's a bit of an oversight there, not remembering that there's the Rubik in this game. Yeah, if you use your ulti, guys, you definitely want to use a different spell afterwards if there's a Rubik on the other team. It's tricky with Brewmaster if the Rubik stays on you right when it ends. There's not a whole lot you can do if he's on top of you, but if you're given time and space, you need to keep that in mind. Oh, here comes the Ice Path, oh, he... and it misses everybody. Pick up the Keep... Keeper dropped a Sal for the Brewmaster, turns around oh, to pick it up. Oh, it picks up Keeper the Light. Brewmaster slammed down on his head to stun him, and the rest of the people just clean up Brewmaster. Meanwhile, Sven gets a kill on... Who did he kill? He killed Lundra in the top. Ah, oh, yeah. poor Lone Druid. He's yeah, doing so well for himself, too. The salve juggling cost them in mid. Oh. oh! A nice torrent caught out the Shadow Demon in mid, with Brewman just immediately blink strikes on top of him and ends his life. The Illusory Orb comes through, doesn't really hit anybody, kind of scares him off a little bit. What's that glowing thing headed towards us? Oh, they might jump on side of Bear Drew here. There's the Ice Path, there's the torrent! A few auto attacks. Phantom Assassin gets another kill. Puck's picked up. The Wang Rift silences everybody just very shortly. He gets X marks the spot. That's the end of Puck right there. There's a double kill for Brewman. Yep, the uh, Stifling Dagger set it up on Sven. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, given that vision, that's all you need. They're gonna get another tier uh, tier two tower out of this. Look at this. He's going to that, town on it. That in a four second, fifty percent slow. <laughs> Oh, there's the Illuminate comes through, catches everybody. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. He actually only level 3 in Illuminate so far. Yeah, look for a second like Shadow Demon wanted to go on the aggressive there. But uh, oh, not really the any follow-up. Oh, finished on Phantom Assassin. 15 minutes, 16 minutes, that is not a bad timing for it at all. Especially when you add in the phase boots on top of it. Oh, yeah, and, that's, that's, that's great for this level of play. I mean... It's, it's Honestly, pretty, I just heard yeah. a storm hammer. Ooh, I mean, gonna kill the bear? Bear? No spirit bear, no! Oh. He gets purged, that bear is dead. Yeah, and, and that's completely worth it. Like, 45 second cooldown for 300 gold. Oh, they're gonna catch out the Phantom Assassin here too. She's drunk, she can't run around. But she does manage to blink to Farah. The Aspeth comes through just to, you know, stop any chasers. So Phantom Assassin gonna get away, happy to get away, I'm sure. Oh, pre-16 minutes is decent even for uh, pro play. You just end up having a lot more pressure in pro play, but... Yep. 
Oh, and there's the Shadow Blade finished on Kunkka too. So they're they're ready to fight. Double damage too. Oh, oh. Changeling Army was right outside of Dominating. the range on that Tidebringer. Uh, yeah, the solo pickoffs all over the map. That's, that's the, the this the is the game of uh, pickoffs. That's all it is. Dearest, go in the Observer Ward. Just sort of uh, answer you. It was almost gone. Gone? Oh, up top. Uh... What are they talking about in chat? I'm not sure. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Why is this? Oh, probably why he used the uh, brewmaster ulti when he did. Ah, okay. Oh, Phantom Assassins jumped on to Keeper of the Light. He's actually just gonna get away. It probably would have just been one more auto attack and he could have finished him off, but Adiris was TPing in there. Oh, he gets <laughs> the purge off on Phantom Assassin. Oh, I thought he purged first, but he actually oh. purged after the disruption, and he's gonna get away just fine. If that Illuminate didn't miss, that might have been a kill. Meanwhile, in top lane, Rubik and uh, company have decided to end Puck's life once again. Puck so not a having a fun finished. game. No, Puck is not having a good time at all. No one really doing that great at farming in this game. It's really been a game of just team fight, team fight, team fight. But even on top of that, there's still been decent timing on some items. Some. Yeah, so assassin running over through here. Oh, gonna fight the uh, the brewmaster. Here. This might not be the best idea. You need to blink out of there. Blink, 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 blink. Nope. Don't want to. Don't want to blink. Gonna run. All right, brewman. Brewman versus brewmaster. Keeper of the light spotted up top. Oh, there's a torrent on Keeper of the Light after the roots. <laughs> Even if that torrent hadn't been there. There's a Stormhammer comes through, but he was in Viz, so nothing there. Ice Path actually caught the Sven. The Macro Pyre drop. Dream Coil catches Rubik and the Spirit Bear. Illusory Orb comes through, does a little bit more damage to Rubik. Rubik's really low. Ice Path actually stopped Bearju, kept him off of Jakiro for that much longer. But. Dunka. Oh, never mind. There's a Shadow Blade. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Changing Army with the Thunderclap finishes off. Punka's life. Dracula drops to a blind little stomp, but you had to know where Kunkka was there. There's the lift, actually picks up Changing Army, followed by the Ice Path, caught a mid split. Mega kill! <laughs> Meanwhile, Brewman comes over and blinks in and ends Sven's life. The Lucy Orbs come through, does some damage. Puck decides not to jump in front of him. The Thunderclap does a massive amount of damage to Phantom Assassin, and she drops as well. There's a Mega Kill ended up 533 gold the way of Changeling Army. Another Ice Pass flies through, catches two, but everybody just disengages. These team fights. An interesting choice coming out of Changeling Army, go opting. He's bought an Ogre Club, so that's looking like a BKB. Uh, you know, he might just be buying the Ogre Club part of his eggs first. Oh, uh, that, he, he yeah, figures... that is... Oh, he has the 1800 gold. If you're going to go for an eggs, you might as well get the point booster at this point. You don't have to save for buyback this early in the game, but he's getting surrounded. There's the stomp, or the clap, rather. No X marks to spot or anything to hold him down any longer, though. It yeah, that actually makes more... Second mix. Yeah, the... Yeah, getting Ogre Club for, uh... As first part of Aghanims actually makes the most sense. Uh, I'm so used to seeing Ogre Club mean BKB. Uh, oh, there's the torrent that caught Keeper of the Light. The boat comes through, lands directly on top of him. That's the end of his life. Changing army. Looks like he's right in the middle of a split. There he goes. The split goes off. The Macropire is down too, but it's not doing anything. The, the coil almost breaks on Dracula, but he manages to get away with the Shadow Blade. He's dusted though. The bear up in the air, spinning around. Bearju extremely low. Oh, actually gets finished off before the Jakiro dies. However, entangles, what can you say? But Phantom Assassin still jumps in there. Okay. Change the army. Buy the, buy, buy the it, Staff of Intelligence and Alacrity. Buy, no, oh, no! Not in time. No. No. Oh, and poor Puck. Poor Puck. And there's another G2, it drops. 
got a game invite. Oh, casting. I could be playing right now. <laughs> this does not bode well for Dire Side here. They're already up here. The bear is just knocking away at this tower. The Illuminate comes through and clears up the creeps, though. Oh, there comes the Stormhammer. Rubik steals. Oh, he stole the good Illuminate. There's a purge used on Phantom Assassin. Lots of damage coming out. Dodges the Illuminate. Actually gets away with about 150 health. Oh, this bear. Poor bear. It dies. There's 300 gold in the way of bear Jew. So what do you think about uh, BKB, first item, brown boots? Oh, there's a Dream Poet. Caught Phantom Assassin. She's got 30 health. There's the Wailing Rift. Finished her off the disruption on Farah. He's really low, but the Ice Path catches Puck, stops him. Stormhammer stops Farah from running away. The Elusive Orb comes over. Shadow Demon actually gets the kill before the orb gets there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just looking at. Has BKB still on brown boots, though? I mean, there's a, he also holds on to a bracer. If you're going to go for strength, uh, the cost efficiency on just getting the treads, attack speed excellent on Sven as well. I, I don't really know why the decision was made just to get BKB before finishing treads. Maybe he ended up banging. Maybe he just ended up banking up 1,600 plus gold and decided, hey, I'll just buy a mithril hammer, screw it. And yeah, then continue didn't even have Blink. It. He could have bought Blink before he died, but he did pick it up after that. Oh, there's dust, but Kanka's already out of there. Gone. What are you talking about? Friendly ban banter in all chat, confusing me. Uh, a bit of pinging going on, but I guess it's just to say, hey, Puck's over here, let's go kill him again. That's their game plan, kill Puck. Yeah, Puck's slowly making his way up the levels, level 11 now. I like that he's uh, started putting more points into Waning Rift. He he was maxing uh, Phase Shift first, but doesn't finish off the fourth point. Ooh, that Illuminate from Rubik comes through and catches Keeper of the Light in the mouth. Taste of his own medicine, really. Here comes another one from Rubik. Oh, I love this. He, he stole the uh, ulti form uh, Illuminate, so he can just start the channel and run away. Yeah, anything ulti, like, ulti form Keeper, very good to steal from. You can al also get in Blinding Light, excellent. A little bit of poking from both teams going on here. That comes another Illuminate through, catches so many people. But while all this is going on in the mid lane, they have five heroes dire side. Oh, there's a torrent! Catches two people! Perfect, here comes the boat! It's gonna catch! Oh, oh. no, the Brewmaster split and dodged the damage. The Illuminate comes through, gets the Fire Panda really low at least. There's a disruption on Dracula. He's over on the side. Super Fluous caught out here. He takes a second hit from the spin. Brewman just sort of hanging out, getting ready to just lay into someone, but Bear Chu manages to kill Rubik before Brewman decides to jump on him. I have no clue, it's just orbing away, possibly. No, just did it for damage. Oh, Ooh, the there's crit. a crit. Right on the back of the head. Bra might be in a little bit of trouble here, too. Brew is not really someone oh, you can just Oh, man. Fight. Blown Druid went down to 40 health. 40 health, triple kill. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> to While give, all this is going on, Alucard just says, hey, I'm farming bot. To give you some perspective on that 300 gold bounty on the bear, Phantom Assassin got 299 gold for killing Sven. Yeah, that is, it's just a huge change to bear. I actually, uh, there's a game I was casting earlier today, a team... Was that was that this game where they caught the lone druid and what they did they killed the bear and then they killed the druid? It's so much extra gold that there is no reason not to kill that bear. But they're gonna get a Roshan here, no problem. There's two heroes still down on Dire Side, and there's no way they're really gonna get here in time to contest this. I'm gonna say the question is who do they give it to, but obviously it's Phantom Assassin. Oh, Rubik has the, uh, the drunken haze stolen right now. Making everybody drunk. 
Picked up for him. That's nice. He doesn't have to go back to base now. Yeah, spells on spells stolen from strength heroes are also very nice on Rubik because typically they're balanced based on you not having enough mana to spam them. So you yep, pick it up on he Rubik. Just gets to spam it. Yeah. Oh, we were actually discussing. Oh, there's a torrent they caught Puck. Poor Puck. The Lumate gonna come through. Gonna hit. Oh, nothing. Sorry about it. He's just uh shooting his little horse beam. Really, the problem with this is they're sitting as five uh, middle and not getting anything from it. Meanwhile, Farah is just farming top lane and even Superfluous is farming just a little bit. They don't have to have all five heroes here to defend middle right now. I mean, conceptually, in these. Oh, we have a fight here. Oh, the boat comes through. It actually hits Abdiris somehow. There's a drink hole that catches two heroes and a bear. Uh, lots of things doing damage to PA? No, 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 no. She just, uh, she just jumps out of it. There we go! 1,000 crit! See you later, Abdiris. There's the X marks the spot. That, oh, the storm oh, I, hammer catches them both, though. That was Sven, nice, an awaiting rift. Sven, oh, uh, oh, it ends up working out. Sven could have manned up, and probably should have manned up faster, but... Oh, and now he's go. dead. 1,000 crit, why not? Come on, just catch up a little bit faster, brew man. You can do this. Oh, there we go. Uh, come on, throw the dagger. And did he throw the dagger at a creep? I believe so. Fuck that creep. He, he doesn't care about killing Puck. He doesn't care about killing Keeper. Screw the creep. Oh, diving. Oh, he's jumped on four. Him. Oh. Oh, come on, just one more hit. It's gonna be the crit. This is the crit right here. No crit. Oh, he's gonna man fight. This is man fight to the max. Just one crit, this is all it's gonna take. Oh, miss, miss, oh miss. the defensive disruption! Oh, that was oh. very nice. Oh, this is why when you're against Brewmaster, it is always a good idea to build an MKB. <laughs> always. Even yep. a support, just build it. I don't care. <laughs> Mad dude, tower. Well, now you I know tell how. To get one. Now you. Now you know how it feels, PA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a lot of mischance, though. Just the dodge chance he has, plus the drunken haze. You can't really one-on-one -on -one fight Brew as, like, a, a carry. You're never going to hit him. You have to build the MKB. Yeah, absolutely. Now... The situation in the game, whenever I look at this, it's always, all right, well, how do they, how bad is it and how do they come back? Well, all racks are still up, so they didn't lose racks out of that. Until that's down, I usually consider it to still be in the game. The difficulty here is that the conceptually going in after the draft was Radiant kind of had a tough team to get farm with because they've got Phantom Assassin who wants a lane to herself to free farm as much as possible and go into the jungle and get the farm there and get the ancient farm and all that. And then you have Lone Druid who wants to do the exact same thing. And then you have Kunkka who kind of needs a lot of items so he can stack all that damage and actually be useful. But right well, now, those are the top them. three net worth on the field, so that's, that's a big problem for the uh, Dire side. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at the gold ref, it's a 15,000 gold lead for the Radiant side right now. They've just been able to take over the entire map. They're farming their jungle, they're farming their own jungle. It, this is this is what it is to lose all your outer tier towers. You you can't really farm anywhere on the map except right up next to your racks at that point. But it looks like they might actually be getting a tier 1 bottom. Yeah, they're just not reacting to this. They they just don't, so. they don't care. Yeah, though the uh, Oh, and there's a disruption on the Lone Druid, and there's a Dream Coil. Oh, here's the Lucy Orb coming through to do damage. Is there going to be an entangle on a He actually gets out. Oh, I have no clue. Is still here though. Is there going to be an entangle? 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 No. Rubik says, "Screw it," and Fade belts him. Gets the kill that way. Yeah, so, not able to get that bottom tower. <laughs> Got low, uh, Shadow Demon and 
Keeper of the Light got kind of distracted by a couple Rubik illusions. And then Keeper backed off. And then that allowed them to catch up. Uh, it looks like they might be trying for this Rex in bottom lane now. Yeah. There was also a Vlad's pickup a while ago on Lone Druid, which works nicely considering uh, what they have going for them. Oh yeah, that's going to help out all three of their carries, really. Oh, there's a Battle Fury on Kunkka. More Cleave. Uh, the Brewmaster's in the middle of everybody. There's a Thunderclap. It catches Kunkka, and here comes the Primal Split. Brewman is not in a great place. Here comes the boat, though. It's just going to wash over everybody. <laughs> They're that just, was, oh, yeah, everybody just watching just Brewmaster him. 1v5 this. <laughs> no help. Here's the Baron here. Brewman is just on the other side. Oh, gets a double kill with a fortuitous crit with that Battle Fury. Finishes off both the Deerus and the Brewmaster in one swing. Off a raw kills Finn. Here's Rex. That's this is GG right here. This game could easily be ended, or they might just take a second lane of Rex, in which case, that is game. <laughs> There's a nice four-person coil. Well, three and a bear. Yeah, but Kunkka just swings the sword as he comes out of that face. There it is. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah, and Looks it up being like, a, uh, mostly a story of the laning phase. Yeah, the laning phase sort of just snowballed into three carries getting farmed. That's that's always nice. Yeah, I, 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 managing I, I, to get what yeah. little he could up there in that top lane really helped him out. Uh, Kunkka sort of dominated in middle, not not horribly or anything, but he was definitely getting as many last hits as he could. I mean, he was definitely beating Brewmaster in that category. Yeah, I like to think of. Uh... Dota is a matter of, but you want to win two out of three lanes, and Radiant went ahead and won all three, so it's very hard to turn that around. Yeah, it's already extremely hard to turn it around if you lost two lanes, but if you lose all three, there comes a boat, it lands on four people, but of course they're disconnected. So, just doing a little bit of fountain farming before they end the game here. Uh, there comes the Illuminate from Rubik. Good job, guys. You've killed... Three disconnected heroes. <laughs> really, the story of this game is, though, that Tireside lost all three lanes. That's that's the only way to put it. I wouldn't say that they absolutely lost top, but they didn't win it either. Lone Druid actually had, what, the same amount of last hits as the safe lane uh, spin. And that's a problem. If your carry doesn't get farm when they're up against one hero and they have two supports, there's some issues going on there. Yeah, it's a little tricky when you consider what one means in terms of a off laner versus a tri lane, but I think in that regard, you have to call that a win when you have basically a off lane lone druid getting safe lane farm. 1600 crit. The PA actually did pick up that MKB, so if this game was still going on, I don't think Brew's going to be doing any man fighting with her anymore. Well, too much, and, and we're headed in on to the score screen now. The Ancient kill. Falls. Come on, come on, just get it. Oh, no Rampage. Oh, so disappointing. ESTB might as well have won at that point. Dire side, rather, might as well have just won. I tried not to play carry, and I was forced into the position. And it made me sad. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses, man. The lone druid who was against...